hi all welcome to the channel so in this video we'll be learning about some basics commands which we can use uh, with playwright so what i mean by basic it will be absolutely basic so for example uh, we already learned about pytest framework everything so we but we didn't cover anything like a part by part right so let's say we want to navigate to a url for that what we have to do so uh, how i mean we know right from this line link like uh, page dot go to that you have already learned right but let's say you want to click on a link for that what you have to do so that we'll be learning about here and also we'll be learning about something like let's say we clicked on the link and we reached to the link right now let's say you want to print the url so that thing also we will learn and let's say you want to go back to the previous page from where you clicked on that link so that navigation i mean navigation of link you will be learning in this video so let me give you a brief example what i mean so let's say you search for google.com and now this google page opens so let's say you just print this url now you clicked on gmail so this page got open and you print the url now uh, click on this go back button so that you can do with playwright as well okay so i mean here we are clicking this link but we will not be doing in playwright this way it, it, there is a different method for that so it will click on this back button and also we can click on this forward button so this will come to here okay so let's try that So let me quickly create a, uh, a file. So let's give some navigation example. So we just created this blank Python file. So what we can do, we can take help from this source demo website and just copy it or we can write from scratch whatever i mean that's not a problem right so i mean better to take it from here but now we will be uh, thinking like from where i will get okay so for that uh, playwright has an awesome, awesome feature that i have already shown in some of my in, in any of my i don't know, don't know which video exactly but in some of my video i've shown you so that is like playwright code gen and then you need to type the url which you want to open so here it just you need to uh, write this code google.com that's fine that's it so just hit enter and from here you can actually generate the template right so that's it now we come here and here you need to select the target okay so here it is by default it is selected as python so let's say you want to generate it in pytest format so you can just write pytest so it will be giving away pytest uh, mode option so you can run through pytest okay so it, it's your choice but for now i am doing this python only because uh, in this video i'm not covering this pytest because pytest is already there some there are videos in my channel so you can check it with playwright and pytest so here i'm just copying it and now i will go here and i will just paste it here that's it so you got the template right very easy and uh, you do not have to remember this code or uh, you can i mean i mean eventually we will be remembering it uh, because you will be daily doing it so that's a different option but uh, if you do not know anything so you can just directly hit this thing and you can generate the template okay so we are good now and let me close this i do not need it so so we reach to this part and now let me use this part only google.com only that's it so after that what i'm going to do i want to print the url so let's print it page dot title not title it's the url so page dot url will print the url after that what i want to do i want to navigate to or let's click on gmail link 
okay so uh, let me go back so here is the gmail link so let's write the locator so page dot locator and text equals to so text equals to um, what is that gmail right and put it in bracket okay dot click so we clicked on the gmail link and uh, after that what we want to do uh, after that i want to get the url so let's print it so page dot url and now next operation i want to do like navigate back okay navigate back so to do that we have one more method that is go back yes this one so it will go back to the previous one that is google.com so let's print the url and page dot url okay and next we can again go forward right so let's do that so navigate back and print the url and next we are navigating forward so for that page dot go forward okay and next print the url so what we just did we first navigated to this google.com then we printed the url after that we clicked on this gmail link and we print the url from the i mean i mean it will navigate to this gmail page so it will print this url and again it will go back so we print the google.com here and after that we again go forward and it will print the gmail link or gmail url whatever url it will be there after that it close the browser right so it is right now executing headless mode so headless equals to false sorry not headless but headless equals to false that means it will be browser will be launched in chromium browser and uh, as i know like if i just i mean if i just run it it will be very fast right so let me give some slow motion to uh, help you understand what is happening exactly so let's give a three seconds delay so that we properly understand what is happening where it is clicking or not right we have not given any assertions here because this is not a pytest so this is just a python file so yeah and let's run it okay so to run it i mean as this is not a uh, Py, I mean, can, we can directly run it from the command line but in that case we cannot use pytest so we have to use that python and the file name or we can directly hit this navigation examples run button here okay so as you can see google.com launched then it will click on the gmail link yes clicked and it will go back to the google.com and it go forward again but it should close now mm -hmm. it is not closing so let's see first it google.com printed then it is printing this about and then it is again going back and after that it should go forward again so the third one and fourth one fourth link fourth print is not getting printed right and it is saying like waiting for the navigation until load okay so there is some issues so it's saying like it is waiting for the navigation until load so 
probably this ULL is not getting loaded or something happened so what we can do uh, if I hover over it you can see it is taking some parameter so first is self parameter self is default one okay so after that it is giving some timeout and then wait until so here we can use and here we can define uh, see the definition so wait and when to consider operation succeeded default is to load event can be either uh, this one dom content loaded consider operation to be finished when dom content loaded event is fired okay and network idle okay consider operations okay before that load is there consider operation to be finished when the load event is fired consider operation to be finished when there are no network connection for at least 500 milliseconds so network idle consider this operation to be finished when there are no network connections for at least 500 milliseconds okay so we can use this one network idle so let's give it uh, wait until uh, network idle So after that let's run it now I clicked on the Gmail go back go forward and close yes so this time it worked so we need to give this wait until equals to network idle okay so it should wait till this network gets idle okay so there should not be any uh, network operation maybe there are some uh, in that gmail page maybe some network operation still getting processed before we uh, try to uh, do that okay so this this is waiting so we if you do not give that it is getting failed right because it's still waiting and we are not giving this uh, parameter so it should wait until this network gets idle okay so i hope this is clear mm, thank you for watching please like share and subscribe if you have any questions let me know